May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, who was called Edith Stein, a virgin and martyr, and of course, a patroness of the whole of Europe. We pray that through her intercession, God will give us the grace of true conversion, of transformation, and that we may be of help to others. Friends, as we pray for Europe, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of our fathers, who brought the martyr St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross to know your crucified Son and to imitate him even until death. Grant, through her intercession, that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as its Savior and through him come to behold you for eternity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Hosea. So says the Lord, Behold, I will bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. And there she shall answer as in, the, as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. And I will espouse you forever. I will espouse you in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will espouse you in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Be Listen, O daughter, pay heed and give ear. Listen, o daughter, pay heed and give ear. Listen, O daughter, pay heed and give ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. Listen, O daughter, pay heed and give ear. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor. Her robes are tried with gold. In fine clothing, she is led to the king. Behind her, her, her maiden companions brought to you. Listen, O daughter, pay heed and give ear. 
They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons will be yours to succeed your fathers. You will make them rulers over all the earth. Listen, O daughter, David and you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus told his disciple this parable. The kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten maidens who took the alarms and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took the alarms, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flocks of oil with the alarms. By the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those maidens rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lambs are going out. But the wise replied, Perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day or nor the hour. Beloved in Christ, the gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> it is time was the eleventh child of their parents. Eight of them survived infancy, and her parents were devout Jews. And so, as usual, parents will bring their children up in their faith and teach them the ways of the Lord. Parents did their best. But by 14 years, it is time was lost to the world. She lost her faith in God. She was very intelligent when it comes to reading, to learning, and to studies. And so her intelligence was so that it took her to be reading all kinds of philosophies, all kinds of ideologies. And that affected her. That influenced her. She had a mind, the wisdom, to discern things and to argue things out. But she couldn't argue for God. So she lost the faith. But interestingly, whilst she studied under one of the great philosophers, Husserl, in Germany then, she discovered a lot of things, but that didn't bring her to the faith. But it was upon reading the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila, one Carmelite nun, that this lady, this young girl, 
was moved back to the faith. When she read the life story of St. Teresa of Avila, she was gradually drawn to God. And why a Jewish child reading the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila, who is Catholic. And so now she converted from even being a pagan, living her Jewish root, and embraced the Catholic faith and left it. She did not just embrace it as such. She said, if it is true the life story of Teresa of Avila, then I would love to live a life just like her. And so it is time entered the Carmelite order and became a nun, a sister. And why? So she chose the name because Teresa affected her life. She chose the name Teresa Benedicta of the Cross because of the suffering that she went through in discovering this genuine faith of God. Becoming a nun, she touched many lives. By using her intelligence, the philosophies of this world, the ideologies that she learned, by using that to bring in people into the faith and to caring for the poor and the needy. Dear friends, as performing her work as usual at that time, the Nazi were, you know, the government were just persecuting all Jewish men. So because of the fact that her parents, her family members were Jews, she was added to the group and they were killed in Auschwitz in the gas chamber. But she didn't renounce her faith in God and her faith in Catholicism. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this great child of God, I'd want us to look into our own families. You know that young people from the ages of 10, 14, 16, 17, they are the moment where they're discovering themselves. They are the moment where sometimes they become very stubborn. The moments where you've taught them everything that you need to teach them, you bring them to church. And at that very moment, they begin not to, Mom, I'm not going to church any longer. I'm not. It's a stage of life. And sometimes we lose them. Sometimes they don't come to church with us as they would have usually done. But let us not give up. Let us pray for them. Let us continue to speak to them. Let us continue to talk to them so that they will embrace the true meaning of life, putting their faith in God and living as such. If you give up and you give up on them, sometimes that would be all. But if you constantly pray for them and hold them, giving them good counsel, praying for them and letting them read things that are meaningful, it will save their soul. And so this leads us to the facts of us parents, of us Christian faithful, to be careful about what our children read. There are many things in our world today that are so attractive but deceptive to the soul, and they destroy the soul. There are lots on the internet now that our children watch, and it forms their whole mindset and their whole being. And if you are not careful and we do not watch such things, such ideologies will influence them. And so now we have a lot of young people who are wanting to change their agenda, to change who they are, because they are being influenced by the world, the devil, the evil one. My dear brothers and sisters, let us watch what they read, watch what they see. Because you know what? What you see, what you read, has direct influence on how your attitudes are formed. And so if you don't guard against that, they may find themselves in such moment. Thank God, Teresa Benedicta of the Cross found the literature of a saint. And she read it. And that transformed her life. Let your children read the Bible. Encourage them. Let them read spiritual books. 
about the saints, about the things of God, about every meaningful thing in life. And in the end, it's going to affect the way they think and the way they do things. Friends in Christ, that leaves us the facts of the gospel of today. Five wise maidens and five foolish maidens. What did they do? They all had their lamps. But the wise ones took oil with them. The unwise or the foolish took nothing. And it got to a point when the bridegroom had come and they wanted to have some of the oil of the wise. But it was too late. I want us to see these lamps as the lamp of truth and of faith. If we can sustain our faith, we need to get the oil of prayer. We need to get the oil of spiritual reading, of listening to the word of God. These are the things that nurture and sustain our faith. If we leave spiritual reading, the word of God, the saints, prayer, and spiritual counsel, we would dim that light, that lamp, and we might lose it in the end. And then it will be too late for some time. That is why Jesus says, or the commentary says, Watch, therefore, for you neither know the day or the hour when the Son of Man will come. Dear parents, dear friends, dear brothers and sisters, let us watch and pray. Let us keep our faith and our lamps burning. Let us always be mindful of what our children read and watch for this will save our souls and save their souls. May through the intercession of St. Teresa Benedicta, Europe discover who God is, the essence of God in their lives, now and always. Amen. Let us now stand and pray. We pray in thanksgiving to God for our lives, for the gifts of this day, for all his manifold blessings. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the church, for the Pope, the College of Cardinals, bishops, priests, deacons, and the religious, that God will continually sustain the light of truth in their heart, so that you, their preaching, through their words and through their lives, many others will come to embrace the faith. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all Catholic faithful who are dead in their faith or who are struggling with their faith, that God, through the intercession of St. Teresa Benedicta, will come to their aid, that they will rediscover their faith. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all our children, the youth, and the little ones who are lost to the world or who are being deceived into the attractions of this world, that God will bring them back to the meaning of life. Lord, in your mercy, for the sick, the aged, and the lonely, that God will bring healing, hope, and relief to them. Lord, in your mercy. For parents who are crying, who are going through pain and difficulties because they have lost their children to the world, that God will grant them the strength, the grace, that they may always have faith and hope in God of bringing them back. Lord, in your mercy. And for Vanice Vary, who is currently in the hospital, that God will bring healing unto her. And we pray in thanksgiving also for Prashan, who underwent a successful operation. Lord, in your mercy. And now in the silence of our heart, let us pray for the whole of Europe and pray for our own needs and intentions.
May Mary, our mother, help us in these days as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Merciful and gracious God, you who touched the heart of Edith Stein to convert and to embrace the true faith, may you touch our hearts that will remain in this faith that brings eternal life to us. And may every intention and need we have placed before you for the whole of Europe, for our family, for our church, and for ourselves be granted in accordance with your will. We ask all of these through Christ our Lord. St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Graciously accept and perfect, O Lord, the oblations we dedicate to you in commemoration of your martyr, St. Teresa Benedicta, for you brought to completion the many offerings of the old covenant by that one perfect sacrifice which your son offered in his blood who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. the lord be with you Amen. lift up your hearts Amen. and let us give thanks to the lord our god Amen. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Teresa Benedicta, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we hear this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with Saint Teresa Benedicta, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil will I fear, for you are with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us spray. Grant, most merciful God, that as we venerate St. Teresa Benedicta, these heavenly fruits of the tree of the cross may give strength to our hearts, so that by clinging faithfully to Christ on earth, we may merit to eat in paradise of the tree of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. And happy feast day to you all. Pray that you have a blessed day. And please remember, today is church cleaning, so we need hands to clean the church. Thank you.